Well, let's go here and there, and it doesn't focus on anything. It's we have just... to air the first episode tomorrow! Damn it! <laughs> Hello and welcome to this new episode of Hanashi Realm. Today we make a little drop or not for listeners. We've seen, we've seen, we've seen the first three episodes are out. <laughs> so we're going to take a close uh, look at what we've got and if it's shit or if it's awesome. Or if it's a hit. Oh. If it's shit or a hit. That would have been a better, <laughs> better phrase. Next time. <laughs> so, as per our three episode rule, where we watch the first um, episodes of a season and decide if it's cool or not, and we can just drop it. So, for listeners, uh, the setup is quite interesting. We have a yeah, post apocalyptic world. Our protagonist, he lives in a junkyard, is collecting different types of scrap. In this world, there are things called the Miminashi, the earless which are like ghosts, monsters that you oppress, know, yeah. they oppress humanity. And then there is people that fight them, the players, and they are quite ominous at first. And at some point the boy finds a girl in the scrapyard and she turns out to be a player. And from there the adventure starts. Right. That's, that's, that's so far, so much for the short summary. Uh, now we're going into a little bit of a spoiler-free review. So in case you haven't watched it, you don't have to fear any kind of spoilers. Yeah, like I said, the, the, the premise, the universe is interesting. The backstory and yeah. these uh, mis mystical creatures, the Miminashi and the players and that kind of war against each other. I know, like, I know. Fight for you, you, have, you have a nice setup that is per se interesting because we don't know anything about them yet. We have to experience it, learn about it. And the world seems to be relatively deep in that sense. And music is a sub-theme of the show. Right. But my big but, as I like them, <laughs> is that I don't... The, the, the music isn't that awesome. Yeah, that's right. That's... yeah. I, I, for for a show that is called Listeners, which has a sub theme of music, of rock music and stuff, right? Yeah. It's you quite could. tame and it's quite repetitive. Like the songs, they don't flow very well. They don't have this band behind them. Interesting is that I did now that you say it, I see it, but it didn't occur to me by watching it, which is kind of odd. <laughs> but yes, that's that's yeah, that's the thing. It, it was a huge problem for me, personally. I, I was kind of excited about a show with good soundtrack, where maybe you get some goosebumps at least when the battle is going on, or... Like, I imagine it, when the fight is happening, you, you had a, something like a sound battle, similar to Scott Pilgrim, where, <laughs> where they have the, the battle of the bands kind of thing. Yeah. So you have these the mechs that appear in the show. Yeah. I hope that's not a spoiler. It's it's a show about, with Max. It's, it's an against... OP. I guess think everything that is an OP is All safe. right, it's, it's, it's spoiler free. <laughs> you have speakers on them and they look like they are built out of M's I mean, with like buttons. They have, the M's. They, they have yeah, guitar right. M's and they kind of turn right, into enough. the Max. And oh, fair enough. And in this case, I expected a bit more that they actually play with it, but they have this, I don't know, like three riff kind of kind of sound that they play during a battle mm. and that's it mm. and then it's repetition from there there's no up and down and the thing that i'm kind of confused by is that it's uh, original yeah if I remember correct but it feels like a bad adaptation kind right. of i mean like right. if, you, if you if you don't have to adapt the source material and you can really focus on just telling the story in the way you're supposed to tell a story if you are making an anime, right? So you, you, you don't have to translate it from pages or something. And for, yeah, regarding that, it kind of fits lost in telling its own story. I, I mean, like the, the, the universe sounds interesting, but the more we learn about it, the sillier it feels. I, don't, I, I feel like, because these, we, we, we don't even know what these Miminashi creatures are where they're coming from any kind of backstory on how they how like the world went to 
shit, you know, nothing of backstory really. It's just they are there. Yeah. They kind of are bad for humans because they're bad. And yeah. we have these rock guys, the players, who fight them. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, <laughs> like, there is. It's, it's, uh, with the whole Miminashi, we don't know like how this came to be and how the listeners, uh, how yeah, the, no, the how the players came to yeah. uh, how to fight them. And I mean, like, it feels like it's lost in its own story, kind of a bit. And it feels like it's rushed in some areas. My my problem is, like, we have three episodes in, and I don't even know what the show wants to tell. Like, what's the goal? What's the motivation of the characters? Like. Uh, where are they moving? What, what's their yeah, it's, motivation? It's very open still. It doesn't have any focus. It, To me, it felt like a bad version of Gurren Lagann at times, where they try to have over-the-top goals and over-the-top themes, have grand music, grand entrances, and some silly but serious characters, and it just didn't hit the mark and it mm. didn't work out. Mm. And it wasn't unique enough to, to catch me in that. For example, the design of some of the robots, they're just... They exist. Now we're going to move into a little bit of a spoiler review. If you would just want to skip right to the um, like the overall... Click here? No, we can't do that. That's Don't not... click here. Don't click here. <laughs> We have this little timestamp in the description. You can just click on that and skip right to our conclusion. The conclusion. But now, back to spoiler territory. Spoiler territory. Yeah, so we have like the sisters, the witch sisters. and yeah, it, You mean like the Nier Automata ripoffs? Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> it's very generic. Like most things in this show are very generic. I mean, the main character looks kind of like the main girl from Dead Man Wonderland. So with these sisters, they're very bland. And like they everything in this like show. Like most things in this show. They start out to be yeah, very creepy in a way, which got a cool, cool gr uh, drift. But then they start becoming really silly when he asks them for their um, autograph, yeah. for their signatures, and suddenly it was like, the, oh yeah, finally someone wants our signature, we're so happy! And then they sign his blanket, which is cute because he keeps the blanket and wants everyone else he meets to, to sign it too. But it took away from the experience. My, my biggest question is, are they dead now? I didn't get that. I mean, like, we, we only saw that in the flashback, kind of, in the yeah. third episode, where, the, where this rescue girl is like, we're, we're saving our main characters. And she was defeating the sisters. Yeah. But I'm not sure if they are dead now because they're not. They just, if, if, if I remember correctly, they just vanished into a thin yeah, air. Yeah, they, they, they did a team rocket. Yeah. <laughs> they did a team rocket and whoosh, did blew they? off. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't. They I, really, they were there and then they were gone. And yeah. you had the protagonists unconscious and then waking up in the room. There is some, like edgy hints at times is there well there is the, these kind of puns like when yeah, the boy yeah, is going okay. to the girl and it's yeah. like oh there is a hole it's like in the pictures yeah. it's so fabulous <laughs> right. and yeah it gives you a smirk but it's uh, yeah i wonder if that was intentional <laughs> or not it was kind of weird <laughs> but it, yeah it was very weird and like like one thing like overall, I feel like the motivation is kind of lacking. I don't know where this is going and yeah. what the character, why the characters are doing what they are doing. And like in the last episode we saw, that's my kind of uh, why I said the pacing is kind of weird because like the whole arc of her wanting to like banish him, like send him off yeah. again because she fears to hurt him. Yeah. Could have been a nice theme for like three or four episodes, like I make know. it a plot it, or something. It, it, it happened too early. And it, it resolved and too it fast. And it resolved too fast. Plus, to me, because I like gore, it was just too tame. It yeah. was a nice touch with the blood on the fist after she was fighting the Miminashi. But I would have wished that it was really gory, that he, she um, smashed him completely. So 
it leaves a real trauma in her. That's two different things. I mean, like yeah, right, right. It's it's me personally. Yeah, I like right. gore. <laughs> All right, but like just for the character progression, I, I thought it, they could have made way more or went way. Absolutely, far away, it know. could have gone way further and done much more with it, and. Yeah, there, there lies another problem. It starts out like she doesn't remember who she is and she wants to find out about her past and whatnot. But is she really? I feel like no, not well, really. It, 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 it's like... it's kind of like the hinted ambition, like the cliche of someone lost their memory, then they want to know who yeah, they but were. I, but kind I guess, of thing. She, wasn't she like even saying, I don't care who I was? Yes, like, kind of, I, mean, like, okay, fair I, I feel like no one has any kind of motivation to do anything. Right. That, is, that is true, they just go their way, <laughs> way and Wherever whatever happens, is. happens. Yeah, are they, have they even a goal? Do they even want to go Well, anywhere? now the goal is they have to talk to every yeah. player there is to find <laughs> information <laughs> right. that is scattered around the world about this one guy, this Iron Feet, Star Feet, whatever. Jimmy something, was his name Jimmy? I feel like Jimmy... Jimmy Stone Feet? I don't know. Something like this. Jimmy's silly name. Let's call that. Guy. that. <laughs> yeah, and of course, uh, the English is very strong. All right, strong. right, right. I also enjoyed that there is lots of weird German in it that is to totally random. <laughs> Total, Total random. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, like, but we have those in a lot of shows. All right, like, we, we have a lot of shows like this. It feels like, and, and I'm kind of lost, they, it feels like sometimes they're quoting lyrics from a song. Yeah, that I've never heard of. <laughs> right. It's probably lyrics from some Japanese pop songs I don't that know. use weird English lyrics. This or some some 60s, 70s stuff we just don't know. Like, like Jimi Hendrix and stuff, like the name Jimmy... For this dude, I feel like right, and the right. Mimi Nashi festival. I feel like this is kind of some weird, like very, very far fetched um, Woodstock yeah. with right. Um, it might be, or about the Mimi Nashi. They have ears. They totally have ears. <laughs> yeah. They call the earless, and they have huge ears. They and their design like is stupid. They're just shadow shadow rats. Yeah, shadow rats. <laughs> they actually exactly. They kind of look like a Five Nights at Freddy's <laughs> Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, the, we, we, I don't know, I hope that they, they kind of could make some kind of a Madoka twist where they re reveal that the uh, Mimi Nashi are some kind of the dead players or some kind of... Well, they hinted that yeah, they are the dead yeah, players. Yeah. So, Super spoiler! Yeah. <laughs> they hinted so, that they are the dead players, but still the motivation is left. How were the dead players created into these things? And what, what are happened? these things and anyways? Aren't the players created to... Destroy the Miminashi and with the Miminashi or uh, like the players. I'm not sure like she Appears to be kind of an artificial being in yeah. a way. I mean like she has the port for this, this cable But I thought everyone has them because he wasn't surprised about yeah, it. Yeah, so I'm um, this, is, this is another thing. I'm not sure if if like if in the in the past like these shadow dimensional creatures appeared and they were like okay we are some advanced civilization we have to fight them and for some reason we just build guitar amps that turn into mecha that fight them and we need but we need some kind of android person to pilot them if right, that's the right, background right. I'm like I have no idea so and the lack of background in this case there are shows where it's interesting because yeah. it's part of the mystery but in this this show it's not part of the mystery it it's just, just feels it's like just they that. didn't think yeah, of it right. it was like hey wouldn't it be co a cool mystery box to have this <laughs> and not think about it later yeah i feel like it's not even encouraged for the for the viewer to think about or to to, to think about what could it be it's just this is the backstory but we don't we, yeah. we just have 20 percent backstory don't worry, right. it doesn't matter anyway. So before we go to our conclusion, one last question in the spoiler section. What came first, Mimi Nashi or players? That's a good question. Because both don't make sense to come first. Right. Now back to the spoiler free zone of Welcome. our conclusion. Welcome if you skip. Welcome back, <laughs> long time no see. We have five little uh, categories where we are um, uh, rating from 1 to 10, with 10 being the best score. So, overall originality, I think I give it 8 points for originality because the just the premise on paper is unique. I'd say a 7 because 
it sounded cool, it was a cool setup, and it would have potential, but my big butt in the end. Right. So then, the story itself. Uh, yeah, because the story itself is pretty non-existent or like pretty not 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 developed enough. Yeah, the plot like is that. plot is weak. Yeah, I give it five points. Yeah, I agree with five. So the next one is art style and animation. Uh, initially, I wanted to say five, but I think I give it six. It has some kind of you. I like the art style itself. The characters look cool. The CG is not so great. It's it's all right for the sequence that they used though, because yeah. it's for the mechs and for the ghosts. Yeah. So um, I go with six. I have to agree again. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's it's not terrible, but it's also not awesome. It's not. Whoa. <laughs> so and fun factor. Yeah, fun factor. Fun factor. Despite all the criticism. I didn't mind it, I can just watch it, it's shut your brains off and you, you have some flashy lights, you have mechs, it's not terrible, maybe a 7. I give it 6 for the fun. Right. And overall, which is not, a, in my opinion, not a conclusion of every everything, just an yeah. overall rating, which is on its own. Yeah, how, how much we would recommend it or yeah, not, maybe. Yeah, right, like the overall... Um, Malm rating, kind of. Um, I would give it... Mm. Ah! I go up to a 6. I give it a 6. I give it a 6 overall. Yeah, a 6. A 6 sounds alright for it. <laughs> it sounds satisfying for a show like this. At least it's not another isekai. It's... <laughs> well, yes. or is it? Because <laughs> everything's possible. But a lot, a lot of like the like the real conclusion is a lot of missed opportunities. Okay. Missed opportunities. Uh, they didn't go far enough, or they didn't go well enough in quality for some they parts. They planned it out. Good it's enough. not planned. It just well, let's go here and there, and it doesn't focus on anything. It's we have just... to air the first episode tomorrow. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Uh, <laughs> ah, let, let's uh, throw Max in there. People love Max, right? Yeah. Do we have the storyboards ready yet? No. Okay. Just go with the flow of that, I guess. Yeah, right. So, yeah, that's our. But that's just our conclusion. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Like, subscribe. If you if you agree with us, give us a thumbs up. If you disagree, I don't care. Give us a thumbs down. <gasps> Please don't. I don't. Anyway, care. ring the bell. I dare and see you, you next to time. Thumbs up. Oh, no. <laughs>